Hey, everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to tap on something that's a little bit more sensitive to people, but often ties into relationships. We're going to focus on a time that we felt unattractive. So this could be a moment in time that you felt unattractive, or this could be like the body part that you always hate, your stomach, your hips, your back, your shoulders, your nose, whatever it is. We're going to find one thing and really focus on it to really clear that. Because trust me, the more specific we are, the faster things are going to move and the better you're going to feel. But first, let's run that show reel. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> All right. So before we start work, I just want to remind you to create safety. Please do not tap on anything that feels traumatic to you. So if someone shamed you about something and that feels really traumatizing or it feels really, really vulnerable, like when you think about it, it's like a level 10, like you're going to break down or have a panic attack, please don't tap on it. Like let's start with something that feels really gentle, like something that the intensity is maybe four, five, six, seven, if you're looking at a zero to 10 scale, okay? Find support, find security in your tapping before you do anything really intense on your own because my goal for you is so you have emotional freedom and clarity and calm and confidence and choice and all these beautiful things, not overwhelm, okay? So tuning back in and knowing that you've let go of things before and you can again, right? Think about a time and space, an event or a moment specifically when you weren't feeling very attractive. So it could be like right now, knowing you're in your PJs watching videos, right? It could be two weeks ago when you were at work and you dropped something on your shirt and you felt embarrassed about it. It could be yesterday morning looking at yourself in the mirror. So that's if you're working on an event, if you're working on a body part. Just right now, thinking about looking at your nose or your butt or your calves or whatever it is for you in the mirror. One part at a time, please. How do you feel right now thinking about it? So write down what is the event or the situation or what the body part you're working with. How do you feel right now thinking about it? I'm gonna be very, very specific. Do you feel shame or guilt or embarrassment or what is it? sadness, hopelessness. And how intense is that feeling from zero to 10, right? Because we want to get it down to a zero. We definitely want to get it to three or under, but zero is like our end goal, right? If we can like tap through and be like, oh my gosh, actually, I kind of accept it. People say it's cute. I don't, I never thought it was cute, but I guess people think it's cute, right? So we, that's where we want to get to and tapping can bring you there, okay? So Notice the intensity of the emotion that you're feeling because that will help us evaluate whether your tapping is moving. And then notice if you feel it in your body anywhere. So thinking about last week when you dropped the taco on your shirt and then you had to walk around all day, you're embarrassed at a level seven. Do you feel that somewhere? Do you feel it in your chest, in your stomach, in your head? Or thinking about looking at your calves in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, like it's all these dimples and there's that bruise thing that never goes away, those veins. You know, I feel so embarrassed about that. Or I feel so ugly, right? So whatever it is for you, just really focus on one thing, write it down. And even though you may be focused on your calves, it may be in your head. Like maybe my, my brain is actually what's where that emotion is hiding or maybe in your shoulder, it may be somewhere else. So just notice it doesn't have to be in the body part or in an area that you're working, okay? And you may not feel anything in your body at all and if so, just skip that part, that's great, okay? But really be specific. The more specific you can be, the actual, the better it's going to be, the faster it's going to move for you. And your brain associates it with a bunch of things anyway. So you'll be working on multiple things by working really clearly on one specific thing, isn't that great? Okay. So now I'm going to bring you through tapping using an example of an own, my own time, right? So we're going to start with the side of the hand. Remember, it doesn't matter what side of the hand you use. And for this, you can say your own words. 
So when I talk about the situation, you can talk about your own situation, your own emotion, your own body part that you feel it in. Or you can actually mirror me, say the exact same words that I'm saying, knowing and trusting that your brain knows what you're working on. Your unconscious already knows what you're working on. And you can heal it without even addressing it specifically. You can heal it easily and effectively just by working with the words that I'm using. Okay. So even though, when I remember getting home from the event last week and I had food in my teeth, nobody told me. I am so embarrassed. And I feel it in my stomach. I accept I feel this way. Even though when I think about coming home from the event last week and noticing I had food in my teeth and nobody bothered to tell me, I feel embarrassed in my stomach. But I'm open to accepting myself anyway. Even though, when I think about coming home from the event last week and I had food in my teeth, nobody told me. I might have wandered around for hours like that. I feel so embarrassed in my stomach. But I'm open to letting this go. Okay, so top of the head, feeling embarrassed in my stomach. 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 All right, you can take a breath, maybe take a little bit of water. So now notice whether you tapped with me or whether you tapped on your own event, notice what's changed. So has the emotion, has the intensity gotten higher? And if so, great, keep tapping. That means things are moving. Sometimes we suppress embarrassment or anger or fear or whatever. And sometimes as we start tapping, things start moving. So it's good. So if something's getting higher, it's okay. Keep tapping, keep tapping, keep tapping until it starts coming back down or make sure it's specific enough because if it keeps going up you might be getting too big like your brain might be thinking about like if you're saying all the times that this has happened or nobody or everybody or i always right then your brain pulls in all the time so cut those big words out and really focus on something specific okay so notice what's now thinking about that same situation What's your emotion now thinking about it? Not well, how did you feel back then? We can't change how we felt back then. We have to tap on the emotion now. That's where the brain is accessing that information. How do you feel thinking about it now? What's the level of intensity? Where in your body, if anywhere, do you feel? Okay. Ready for the next round? All right. Even though. When I think about getting home last week from the event and I had food in my teeth and nobody told me. I feel embarrassed in my head and I'm open to letting this go. Even though when I think about coming home from the event last week And seeing in the mirror that I had food in my teeth. Nobody bothered to tell me. And I feel embarrassed in my head. I'm open to accepting myself anyway. So even though, when I think about getting home from the event last week, and I had food in my teeth. And nobody told me. I probably walked around for a couple hours. 
Nobody told me. That makes me feel embarrassed in my head. I'm open to letting this go. Great, top of the head. Feeling embarrassed in my 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 head. Great. So once again, you're going to reevaluate. How's the emotion? Where is it? Where is it? What's the intensity? You want to tap everything down to three or zero. So feel free to keep rewinding this. There's a little link in the box. You can rewind it and, and do the rounds over and over again until it's at a zero, at least three or less. Notice if something else comes up another time where you felt the same way, maybe another moment where you weren't uncomfortable where you were more uncomfortable with your body whatever it is write it down tap this one situation all the way down as far as you can get before you go to another situation because that's how you're going to find the most calm peace clarity confidence and choice because remember you are loved you are loving and you are lovable i've got the full tapping class you can learn how to do it yourself and all the resources on my website at natureofrelationships.com under free stuff so please check it out there. Take care of yourself. Know you're worthy. Have a lovely day.